Welcome to the Raid Boss Tag Team Tournament. So we can't actually do the Tag Team Tournament in Smash Ultimate because they didn't set up their tournament feature mode. They didn't set it up that way. So I'm just going to be using Challenge.com. You know, the, the bracket that I use for our uh, DLC tournament that we do every single day except Sundays. But we have eight teams. We will take one Raid Boss and pair him with a level one Raid Boss. So it's just two teams facing each other. Two teams of two. One Raid Boss that's completely done. And one Raid Boss that's, well, I guess not a Raid Boss yet. So it's it's still a Raid Boss Tag Team Tournament. So first match, we have Dark Pit and Palutena. Or Pit 2 and Palutena. Taking on KTFO and Wolf. You guys will see the other teams once we get to the matches. But let's do this. So each match is only two stocks. Final Destination Battlefield only. No items. Let's just see what random teams end up becoming the best. So it's pretty much going to be the raid bosses themselves. So in this case, a Little Mac and Pit 2. Or KTFO, Little Mac, I should say. It's which one of them will be able to be the more aggressive and be able to pick up all the eliminations. Because, like, look, level 1 Amiibos, they might surprise you. They might throw an attack in there that will really kind of mess things up. You never know. But it, it's going to be fun. It's just kind of a little mix-up to the tournament format. So I thought we might as well do this. So it looks like Palutena and Wolf. No surprise, the level 1s have already been... Uh, taking one stock off of each. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's pretty much going to come down to which raid boss, which amiibo wants to just show up and deal more damage. Oh yeah, by the way, that is another thing. I turned final smash meters on because I figured it might be able to help the level one amiibos. It didn't help Wolf right there. Oh no, KTFO is caught. He only has one life left because Wolf just stole his other stock. Oh, well, we already know how this one's going to go. Wolf just used... Oh, uh, I didn't think about that. That's going to be something that's going to happen. Wolf able to hit the final smash. I think he's about to take out a Palutena here. Did he get both of them? It's not finishing... Pa it wasn't finishing Pizza. Oh, no. All right. That was simple. That was done. <laughs> There's your winner. First round. Nice try. Palutena Pit 2 moving on, so let's update the bracket very quickly. Alright, next match we have Sleepy Time, our Jigglypuff Raid Boss, teaming with Pokemon Trainer, taking on Marth number 4, aka Krom, and Ike. Pokemon versus Fire Emblem. Let's do this. So, breakdown real quick. If you haven't seen Sleepy Time, very gimmicky. Insta drop into rest is a big move that racks up a ton of damage and gets so many eliminations. So, Sleepy Time's already hovering above Ike. I mean, look, level one amiibos again. I, I wanted to throw them in here because I thought they might kind of make it a little bit interesting. And after that last match, you know, when they're when, the, when shared stock is on and they take a stock. Okay, look, that, that could really mess up a team. It really could. So we'll see which one. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Look, Sleepy Town. I have total confidence in, except for that right there. You just literally nobody around you, and you're just like rest. I'm gonna take a little nap. Pokemon Trainer, you take over. Like, no. Do not rely on your teammate in this battle. Oh, no. There goes Pokemon Trainer. See, the bad thing is now Jigglypuff's at such a disadvantage. Ooh, able to hit Krom with that, or Marth number four with the rest. Oh, no. If he, if they eliminate Pokemon Trainer right here, Jigglypuff's only going to have the one life. Ooh, final smash by Pokemon Trainer. Picks it up. Is that... That was a double. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we put level ones on here, and that's why we put a final smash meters on. Things that can get crazy. You never know who can come out on top. You never know who's going to deal the damage. Uh-oh. He's got it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's it. Oh, no. There he goes. Are they going to... They did the... Ah, oh, shared stock. Sleepy time is... Sleepy time's in a bad spot. If they can take out Ike. If they can take out Ike and then just focus solely on Marth number four. They might have a shot. But they're going to have... They're going to have to deal... The, oh! Pokemon Trainer's got a final... No. Ike has a final smash. Oh, no. Oh, no. This could be dangerous. If they can catch Sleepy Time with it, that's very bad for Sleepy Time. Oh no. Oh no, that could be it. That could be it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No! 
Oh, sleepy time! Looks like Marth and Ike end up picking up this one. Moving right along to our next match, we have not, I repeat, not Hard DK. No, not Alpha Rats, Hard DK. This is my not Hard DK teaming up with a Kirby and their opponents, PK Spam and DLN001 or Mega Man, if you will. Anybody get the reference to the Mega Man nickname? If you do, just let me know in the comments. But it should be a fun match. We got Donkey Kong with the Halberd Spirit, super increase in defense. On top of the already buffed stats that they get for being a maxed out uh, level 50 amiibo. And then, uh, oh no, Kirby's already go- oh no. Donkey Kong's in such a bad spot here. Kirby's gonna be eliminated so quickly and then he's gonna take Donkey Kong's other s Oh, he's gonna take his other stock. Kirby's gotta utilize that final smash. If Kirby actually got nest with it, that's, that's good for DK. More damage. There go. Hey, there goes Mega Man. Kind of on the even playing field right now. Both teams have only lost one life. Donkey Kong's gonna have to step up and be very aggressive here. Do not get caught in that PK fire. I mean, it's hard to because literally. Oh no, Donkey Kong! Hey, at least Kirby can't steal a life now. I guess there's a pos there's a there's a positive out of that. Oh no, Kirby! Kirby's done. It's up to. Oh no, PK Star Storm. Donkey Kong, not hard DK is in so much trouble, even though like not okay, one one of those one of the Star Storm meters hit him. Meteors. That's it? That was pretty good. Again, that Halberd Spear is gonna have to come in big time. Oh no, DK jumped into it! DK jumped into it. I'm not don't count Donkey Kong out. Do not count Donkey Kong out. That Halberd Spear is very, very busted. It's a it's one of the best support spirits in the entire game. Donkey Kong's gotta use the final smash on Ness. Has to use it on Ness. Do not use that on Mega Man. Use it on Mega Man, that's a waste. DK, you gotta come back. Able to grab the ledge. Oh, wow! Did not see him turning around to use that. Off stage? Off stage! To use that. Incredible. All right, now Mega Man is just gonna kind of be like a fly flying around, just kind of like, hey, I'm here buzzing around. You're gonna have to worry about me a little bit. So DK, either just quickly just swat him out of the air. There you go. Now focus on Ness. Again, this is pretty even. This is how I want to see it. This is how we want to see it. Comes down which raid boss is better in this situation. See? Donkey Kong's got the juggle. He can rack up the damage. He's got powerful smash attacks. He can meteor. He can spike you from several different moves. Ness off stage. Oh, missed the down air. Donkey Kong, don't get too far down below stage. You ain't going to come back. Your up special isn't that good uh, vertically. Uh oh. Uh oh. Playing a dangerous offstage game, Ness, that is a problem he has. Sometimes he goes a little too far. Oh no, PK Star Storm. DK's gonna have to dodge this like he did last time. Yeah. Didn't quite dodge that one. He's seeing his eye shoot out of his skull. <laughs> All right, last match of the first round. King Crusher, my very first raid boss, teaming with Ryu to take on our Me Gunner. Also known as Cuphead, because we got the Cuphead me costume. And his opponent, or his uh, partner, I should say, Sonic. Let's see how this one goes. Another breakdown of the uh, the raid bosses that are level 50. King Crusher has only one support spirit, but that is a super armor. So it makes it very difficult for him to be flinched or even launched. So he's got to take advantage of that. Cuphead, on the other hand, has a very interesting, kind of very broken in a sense... Play style with support spirits. So his support spirits. He only has one as well. It's the great auto heal. So every, I think, what, five seconds or something, he ends up healing 5% of his health, which is insane. Combine that with the play style that he has. Basically just run around and fire off side specials and down specials. He just kind of, he's a run and gun character. Stays away from you and he tries to heal himself up while trying to rack up that damage. Ryu... Gets his first stock taken from him right there. Again, if, you're, if your partner, if that level 1 amiibo dies twice before the raid boss itself loses one life, ah, uh, well, that's just poor because... Oh, final smash! Able to connect. Did he just get a double? Were you pulling out a double on the final smash meter? Oh, Ryu's actually paying dividends. Oh, no. Cuphead fire. Oh, no. Cuphead caught. Oh! Ooh, this one's interesting. 
Cuphead will continue to heal. I don't know. Maybe if I was King Crusher, I would go for Sonic right now. Just a couple good smash attacks, Sonic's done. Get him out, get him out of your way. Do not worry about him. Because now Sonic has a final smash. Sonic, yep, activates. Is going to be able to connect that. Do a little bit of damage. But again, it's not going to be... It's not going to KO. King Crush is sitting at 51%. Now he's got a final smash. you got to use that on Cuphead. Got to use it on Cuphead. That smart. Smart. Rack up as much damage as you can whenever you can. But look at that. That only did 6%. And then another 5. 11% damage overall from a final smash attack. <laughs> That's incredibly weird. Oh, no! Cuphead trying to footstool King Crush, but he's like, nah, I ain't having any of that. Sonic with a forward smash? Excuse me? Sonic actually attacking? See? You never know. Those level 1 amiibos, they might be able to pull off something here and there. Oh no, Sonic is gone. It's down to King Crusher versus Cuphead. King Crusher. Hopefully. Oh, he went for the downer and he missed it. Cuphead's trying to play a little bit of ledge guarding right there. King Crusher's got to stay extremely aggressive. Do not let Cuphead get out of your sight. Do not get hit with any of those side specials or down specials. If you get hit with that, you're gonna get you're gonna get flying. Even with that uh, super armor at this day, uh, uh, this high of a percentage, it ain't gonna matter. He's got to stay aggressive. Try to catch him off stage. I mean, Cuphead's up special's got pretty good recovery. Ooh, King Crusher, pretty much a 200%. He's uh, Cuphead. I don't know what Cuphead was doing. He's doing the cup dance of something, and he ends up winning. Side special to the face. That healing, that great auto heal. I tell ya. Uh, it's, it's it's a deadly support spirit. So it's like Cuphead and Sonic advance to the next round. All right, on to the semifinals. We have Pit 2 and Palutena taking on Marth 4, number 4, and Ike. Kid Icarus versus Fire Emblem. Let's see how this one plays out. Now... I think I've said this before in other videos about my Krom or Marth number four raid boss. I feel Amiibo versus Amiibo wise, he might happen to be my very best. Okay, Ike is just going to be like, nah, I'm just done with this, bro. He immediately flies off stage and up specials. He Ike sides himself, so that's not good. But uh, Krom, Amiibo versus Amiibo, I truly feel is probably my best because when I face... When I do like just random 1v1s and I just like to watch my amiibos face each other, my raid bosses, Krom, I'm not joking, like 99% of the time he wins. I, I think I've only seen him lose like, honestly, like one time. Speaking of losing, Krom actually just lost a life right there. Catch him off stage, that's his weakness. No horizontal recovery. It's not there. So you catch him a little far off, you got a good shot. And plus, Dark Pit, off stage, that down air, you gotta watch out. Uh oh, Krom. Number four. Marth number four's got the final smash. Oh, he did hit it. I didn't know if he hit that for a second. I was like, wait a minute, what's happening? All right, got pit two down to one. Like, Palutena's the only one that still has two lives left. Would not have, uh, he, he would, yeah. Wouldn't, didn't see that one coming whatsoever. All right, Krom. All right, pit two. This is where you got to step it up. I like that they're going after each other. They're like, we're the two raid bosses here. Let's face each other. Palutena's got the final smash. Dark Pit completely whiffs. Palutena's going to have to capitalize on this one for her team. If they want any chance. Oh, no. There goes Ike. Oh, no. Black Hole Mega Laser. No. Mark number four. What are you doing? You literally jump back into it. Don't jump into the final smash. <laughs> this is going to get yourself KO'd, buddy. Nice try. Nice try. Hey, GG's there from Dark Pit's team, I guess. Pit two going to the finals. All right, semifinal number two, PK Spam, Mega Man taking on Cuphead and Sonic. Who's going to go meet Pit 2 and Palutena in the finals? Well, we're about to find out because we're playing the match. All right, this should be an interesting sort of matchup here. PK Spam is going to spam the PK Fire, obviously. That's why his name is PK Spam. Racking up all sorts of, all sorts of damage, but Cuphead gonna be a little bit spammy himself no not a little bit he's gonna be extremely spammy run away and heal himself up so it's gonna kind of come down to well sonic eliminating himself right there forgetting to recover in time and there oh there goes mega man there goes so sonic's already done it's, it's up to cuphead he's gotta he's gotta tall oh no he just he stole cuphead no 
That's not good. Don't steal your partner's stock, especially when you suck as a level 7 amiibo. I mean, they don't know. The option is there. They're going to take it. Okay. Oh, no. Sonic has almost lost three lives already. But he's hanging in there. Cuphead going to have to heavily rely on that great auto heal to bring him back. You got to go. You got to go for Ness. Don't worry about Mega Man too much. He's just kind of like sitting in the background, kind of like little little poke attack here and there, which don't underestimate that strategy. A little bit of poke damage, a little bit of chip damage here and there. It's pretty good. Oh, no. PK Star Storm going for the Sonic for some reason. Sonic was not the one you had to worry about. It is now Cuphead versus two. Cuphead able to hit the final smash. Able to... Ooh! Got PK Spam. Oh! 1v1. Let's go. PK Spam. Cuphead. Who's getting this one? This should be good. Who's going to be more spammy? Whoever gets to be more spam... Right now, PK Spam. He's doing, the he's doing it better. If he can continue that... Oh, don't taunt. That is not the time to taunt. You haven't won yet. Taunt when you know you have to win. You don't want to get taunt to defeated it's just no come on somebody step up your game come on i want to see that elimination this is actually pretty cool cuphead is not out of it remember great auto heal look at that five percent damage just healed right there easy just keep him away with the with the projectiles oh we oh cuphead got it cuphead wow cuphead and sonic are going to the finals Win. There you have it. The finals is set. Pit 2 Palutena versus Cuphead and Sonic. What did I just do? Hold on. Palutena, we kind of need you to come back. You can't leave yet. Pit 2 needs a partner. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's crown our first ever random amiibo tag team champion. I might do more of these in the future. They're kind of a fun way to just to mix it up a little bit. I do really wish, though. I really wish Smash Bros. Ultimate for your tournament. Wow, Pit 2 and Cuphead both went really deep to recover right there. I thought they were both about to lose a stock. Like, wait, what's going on? You guys are supposed to be the smart ones here. But uh, I really wish Smash Ultimate and their tournament feature was able to set it up where you could actually do tag team tournaments. That would have been extremely fun. It's all good that they don't, you know, because they, they offer so much, so many other just modes and styles to play in, so that's pretty cool. Palutena just lost the first life. That's going to be big, because if uh, she loses the next one, before Pit 2 gets eliminated, Pit 2's in trouble because he only has one life to play with, and Palutena's just going to hog everything. Like, no, Palutena, you might be the goddess, but doesn't mean I don't want a little bit of something for myself. Pit 2 trying to go for that down air on Cuphead right there offstage. You know it's strong. There goes Sonic. All right, Sonic's in the same situation now as Palutena. Don't get eliminated before your opponent, or your uh, your partner, I should say. Cuphead's got the final smash. He's going to use it. Now would be a perfect time to use it. Would have had both of them lined up right there. Don't know what he's waiting for. Cuphead likes to recover extremely deep. Black hole mega laser. Ooh, is that a... Oh, no. There goes Sonic, and then Sonic steals the life. Cuphead probably doesn't like that, but that's how it happened last time. That's how it happened last time. Oh, he missed. All right, all right. Same situation. Palutena lost both lives. Steals one from Dark Pit. Dark Pit just took out Cuphead. Pit 2 and Palutena looking like they're going to win this one because let's face it. Sonic has a final smash, but... No way! What is, what is happening? How did the finals come down to a level 8 versus a level 8... Oh, Sonic surviving! Sonic, what are you doing, buddy? You won't, you will not give up. Power of the Sonic movie. That is incredible. It's driving him right now. He wants to win this. He needs to defeat Palutena. If they want to attack each other. No! Sonic didn't grab the ledge. Oh, how did a level 8 amiibo end up winning this for their team? In <laughs> yeah, too bad for you, right? Out of everything that could happen. It was the it was the low level amiibo that ended up winning it for their team. That is absolutely crazy. All right, I guess that is going to be it. Like I said, just wanted to kind of do something a little different for tournament formats for uh, amiibo. So that's what we got today. I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and hopefully we catch you guys on the next. One. Oh, by the way. I'm still going to do regular, like, tournaments as well. 
you know, like level one amiibo tournaments. We're still going to do that. Don't worry. That's not going anywhere. This is just something to mix it up. But that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.